Hey there, this is SD. Uh, last time out we won Slug C after a very, very rough start. A run that generally we had a lot of difficulty finding scrap and finding weapons, but we did manage to pull it off. Uh, we're going for a win number 40 in a row today, and we've rolled Zoltan C, which is a pretty weak ship. No, that's Fed C, which is an even weaker ship, but yeah, this ship. You start with two power, which is pathetically bad, and you have this sort of ions and drones set up, which is not ideal. You do have a Zoltan shield, though, and you also have four Zoltans, which is nice. Um, I'm going to do what I did last time I played this ship. Start one of the Zoltans on doors. Actually, I'll start him in here, and he can run the doors rapidly has the same basic effect. The ship is quite weak against boarding. The main thing that you want to get early on this is just to acquire some other form of offense. Ideally a weapon that can actually do hull damage. So we're gonna save scrap for a store. Let's go here, there, and probably then there, depending on what we see. Aid the civilian ship, but let's just make sure. Is everything tracking? Yes. Okay, aid the civilian ship. Okay, this one's not too bad. Chuck one into weapons to try to take that down good. Yeah, not being able to aim the beam drone is quite a big problem. Let's shoot at the weapons again. They're going to shoot this laser, but uh, knocking it offline is quite big because that resets the spin-up time. And now we should just win this. Good. So that's a very good first fight. We get a double reward and we didn't take any damage. Normally I'd be looking to get my shields up, but Zoltan C is one of the ships where I feel like that's not the first play. There are arguments you could make about it, but the ship really needs to find some way to deal hull damage that's more reliable. And the Zoltan shield does a lot of what you'd want a second shield to do anyway. Hail the refugee ship. Yeah, sure, we use drones, we don't use missiles. Okay, I don't like this enemy. Those are really, really good weapons. And they dodged my first shot, great. And the second! This is really, really bad. Are you fucking kidding? Well, now I need to put a shield up. Okay, we hit weapons there, but... Then they hit our, our drones. I'm going to stop firing the charge ion right now, I'm going to charge it up. It's more important to have my drone online than it is to fix my piloting. <sighs> dodging. So much fucking dodging. We are completely vulnerable to taking damage here, and I don't know that there's much we can do about that. Um. Put you there. Let's get one shield bubble up quickly before- Ah, the heavy laser was too fast. If this ship surrenders, we have to accept. Because, like, RO2 is running out, we've taken nearly 10 damage already. Uh, yes. Okay, well, 
that was that was a bit that was a bit hair raising, but we did manage to get a good reward out of it. The fire beam is not ideal, but I can use that to try to get crew kills, or I can sell it. I'm gonna still hold on to my scrap right now. Like the only ships problem with that weapon right now is I don't have a way to get through shields and use it. I would need to upgrade my weapons twice to be able to use that alongside the charge ion. And that would delay me from getting a weapon that actually has proper, you know, ability to damage hull. I forgot to save your position. This sees the most beacons. Okay, there's a pulsar, which we're not too bad at dealing with because we can stuff Zoltans in the critical systems. Of course, if they keep dodging... Are you fucking kidding? This is some of the worst dodge RNG I've ever seen. No. I'm gonna let the O2 refill. I don't really care about my stuff getting ionized. No store spotted, that's fine. Go here now. Ignore the refueling platform. Eh, just a nothing jump, sad. Well, that beacon we're never seeing, so I hope that's not a store. Aid the civilian ship. Okay, this fight is safe. So we can train here. It's going to be slow, because we can't train both weapons and dodge at the same time. We don't have enough power. But we can, in fact, train both of them fully. Are you my shield guy? No, uh, my engine's guy, rather. No, you aren't. You're my engine's guy. So, these two go here, and I will meet you back when we are fully... What am I talking about? I'm being an idiot. I can train my weapons, but of course we can't train our shields here. These people don't are dodge. They don't actually have something that actually fires shots that we can dodge. I'm being daft. It was a long day at work. I'm going to uh, train my weapons then, and I will see you when that's done. Okay, we're back. We're not quite max, but we will be by the time we finish killing this ship. Obviously, we can't do anything with the fire beam here because it has no oxygen and there's no crew over there for us to kill anyway. We could theoretically set, try to set fires until we get like double fires that burn systems down, but why do that when we can just do this? I suppose it would save a drone, so it's strictly the optimal play, but I'm not doing that. Okay, we got some repairs for that really awful, from that really awful flak heavy laser fight where they kept dodging. I can go one, two, three, and then hit the store. I think I do that, that way I have the most scrap available to me. Not if I get events like this, I'm buying none. Oh, for the love of God, could I please actually get some fights? Wow. That is fucking trash. Do I actually have enough jump? 
Oh great, I don't I actually can't go to this store now. One, two, yeah. I I of oh, oh, that's that's such awful play. I thought that I had one extra jump and I didn't. I should have measured. If we go to the store we'll be diving and we can't do that. Well, that was an absolute that was a terrible misplay on my part. And uh yeah, that's really put us behind. As well as the fact that we've just got like jump after jump after jump with nothing at it. Yeah, that was a 58 scrap sector one and we had the 25 scrap drop. But considering we're already playing a weak ship, that really puts us behind the eight ball and we I cost myself a store by being a dumbass. This ship is quite yuck. Although, if we can just knock one of the heavy lasers off, we're basically safe. We can even do that by just ioning one of them, hopefully getting them desynced. Okay, good. Okay, this... Sh I'm just gonna leave him for the moment. It's more important to keep my other stuff up. If I move that Zoltan, I will do, have to depower my uh, beam drum. You get in there. I think you need to go over there as well. Lose my weapon. Hopefully the beam drum just wants to fight here. Okay, yes, good. Okay. Can I get there in time to stop you smashing that system? I think no, but we might as well try. No, no, we did do it. Cool. Still very annoyed at myself for costing the store. Now we have to go to this one, which is in an awful location, but hey, we have to go to a store. And this store has zero weapons. It's got hacking. We would need to sell the fire beam to get it, because we've made such terrible scrap. The problem with doing that is that that means we're using, we're double dipping on the drones. We would be using both a drone for offense and one for the hack. On the other hand, you know, the fire beam is not ideal. And doesn't do any hull damage. Like with the with the hacking, what you can do is you hack weapons and that buys time for the charge ion to eat through shields. How many fucking empty jumps have we found? At least the exit here is in the very, very top right. We are so far behind. Take that down. Okay, that double reward is very appreciated. Do we go here? We could buy a potentially buy a weapon there by selling the beam drone, but I don't know whether or not we'd want to do that. I'll check it. Oh my god, there's a drone recovery arm and we can't get it. 
Ah! That is agony. We are seven scraps short of being able to get this. That would solve the drone problem, but no, we can't do that, so we're just gonna move on. We need our drones so much. I I'm still gonna take this. We need our drones a lot, but that's a pretty reasonable offer to take. We have some good distress options here. Yeah, this is cannibals. We can afford to take that. Unfortunately, we got the bad option. Gonna head up towards that nebula because we want to get more jumps to try to eke out a bit of scrap. Uh, yeah, we have to sell all of these. Great, nothing. Well, we take one extra jump and then we hit the third store of the sector. Aid hey, the civilian ship. Okay, that's good. Can this store please have a heavy laser? Dodges have been very good in this fight. Helps make up for some of the bullshit earlier. Please be a double rule. Okay, well, that's not the kind of double reward I was looking for, unfortunately. Okay, they have a flak. Now, a flak pairs very awkwardly with the charge laser. With the charge ion, rather. There's an argument to actually be made for the chain laser, but no, the flak is just better. This may be an awkward pairing, but I can make it work. But we are so far behind. Like, I haven't upgraded my shields, I can't use both of these weapons because we have made so far, like, we've only made 73 scrap in this sector. Going civilian. In a lot of these fights, I may use to charge ion instead of the flak, because it pairs better with the beam drum. At least until I get my weapons up, which I need to do that before my shields, even though, you know, our shields critically need to be raised. More empty beacons. I'm gonna hit the nebulas because we want, like, manually search would be good. These sort of fights are okay because we actually aren't too bad in half power situations. I, I can't try to preserve resources, I have to use everything right now. I will hold off on hacking purely because we have the Zolt machine to protect us. No. Like, we haven't bought any power bars either, keep in mind. We'll start working on the weapons. But this is an awkward weapon setup even when we bring them both online and even when we get the power to run them. We will attack this ship, which wildly outclasses us. We need to hack the weapons and buy time to get the charge ion all the way up. Okay, 
my god, those all hit. That's not good. We need to switch to the flak immediately. We need to see if we can flak shields. I also need to get you out of there. Damn it. Yes, just take that, we need to end this fight. Ugh. There's an argument that buying hacking wasn't necessarily the right choice here and that that's put us back, but at the same time, like, I couldn't rely on finding another store in that sector at all, much less one with, you know, reasonable weapons. Which, you know, the flak only turned up at the very, very end of the sector. But yeah, we need to get this up, we need this up, we need the hacking up, and we need more power. And if we fight a dangerous ship, we could easily just die. I don't care about stores right now. We need to make scrap. And have opportunities to spend scrap we don't have. We will attack this pirate. this strat again. Yeah, while this is going on, actually, I'll run my pilot to O2. Nice dodge. Please stop dodging. Are you fucking kidding? They dodged three in a row. Okay, we need to charge this. Oh god, our battery is about to go down. Damn it, our shield did not hold for just a moment too little, and then that came off. I think we need to run from this fight. Which, how exactly we get the power to do that, I don't know. You need to go there. You can't go up there because you are stunned. You go in there. Well, that forced power out of my hacking, that's something. We need to jump back to a beacon we've already been to. If we jump into another fight, we could just die. Yeah, this is really, really bad. This is probably the weakest we've been in this entire streak. The only, the only run that might be comparable to this is that horrible Slug B run. At the very, very beginning. It's possible we can pull this around, but we need some good fights. Or free stuff. We could have won that fight as well, it's just they dodged three shots in a row. I don't think it's worth going back there, because that beacon doesn't 
take us to a good place. Even though it's a guaranteed fight. Okay, that's helpful. I wish I could go to that store and sell that for immediate upgrades, but I can't. However, I can sell those for immediate upgrades, and I'm going to. I need to get both these weapons online. Now, this is an extremely awkward weapon setup, because they're kind of both shield-breaking weapons, not weapons that you want to be using to deal whole damage, but hey, they're the weapons we have. Let's counter the hack. We don't really have the power to use that anyway. Okay, this, this ship has no shields. This is exactly the kind of fight we want to see. Seems weird to say that about the shield hack event, but hey, they their own sh their shields are hacked too by non-existent. Okay. Do I need to get my shields up now, or do I need to buy power? Our power situation is pretty perilous, but actually, I think we need the shield upgrades. We can run both weapons and run the shields when the backup battery is up, so that's that's the more critical upgrade, then. Okay, storage cache is big, but um, I don't like this ship at all. Let's hack those drones, and let's hope we blow a bunch of them up. Nope! You absolute fucking dickhead. I cannot believe that. It blocked multiple of my flag shots. That is extremely bad. Put the Zoltan in shields. That keeps a shield bubble up. Even though they just ioned me. We need to take that fucking combat run. Okay, we got it down. Why are our shields out? Our backup battery got hit. And of course it pulled that down. Oh shit, that's backup. I think we're dead. Like, we can't run away here. We can't bring this down. We're just gonna get fucking wrecked. I think this is the end of the streak. Maybe we can get out of here. Like, the backup battery's completely down. Our doors are also offline and there's fire all over the ship. That... That drone blocking two of our shots, I think, with its face, has killed us. We'll, we'll see if we can jump out of this, but even if we do, I don't know that we can actually come back. Okay, we can get away at least. We can't jump to a safe place, so we have to jump to this distress beacon and hope it's not something hostile. We can investigate this. Okay, no, that can potentially do five damage, which would literally kill us. Uh, let's go fix the clone bay. That's the most important thing to fix. And then we rush over the doors. It's hard to identify how much of this is down to the mistake I made in Sector 1 of not be, of, uh, missing the store. I mean, there might have been good stuff there. At the same time, I did have, you know, despite... And that obviously would have been a jump with no scrap. Even if I had measured it out correctly, the two stores that I would have gone to right near it, also the two jumps I would have gone to right before it instead of three, had no scrap. And then there were a load of other jumps after that with no scrap.
Okay, there's a store. We can go here. Do we go to the distress beacon first? I think we ha we have to just go to the store and sell this iron and sugar drone. We may be selling the bean drone as well. That goes for sure. I'd love to keep the bean drone, but I think it's got to go. Now, we could sell... We could sell the charge ion and the beam drone by the chain laser and then get repairs. And if we do that, we have actual weapons. I don't like doing that, but like, I don't like anything about this run. I think we have to do it. It's the only way. These weapons are too awkward. I think this is the only way we get to direct damage and possibly be able to survive. Buy the chain laser and then we get 14 points of repair. I wish I could get my shields up or get more fuel or something like that, but we can't. We're gonna go to this distress. I think we have enough time to go to distress and back. Yes, just barely. We'll go to distress. If we can get some fuel, some scrap at it, we can buy some fuel. Promise to help. We literally, oh my god, if we could have gone to those in the opposite order, we would have got the blue option from the ion we just sold. Like, we're about to go into Sector 4, and we still don't have Second Shield. Like, we haven't made- we've made only 80 scrap in this sector as well. Our scrap totals have been utterly, utterly abysmal. Now, partially, that's because we had to, like, run away from a fight and go back, yet we just barely have enough room for this. We have two fuel as well. Like, we don't have second shield, we have not purchased a single, um, reactor bar on this ship that has two reactors. <sighs> There's a very, very good chance that slug ships could just kill us. I think we have to go uncharted. Slug is too dangerous right now. But, like, either of them is awful. We're going into an uncharted nebula with one fuel. We're gonna, we're gonna run out of fuel this sector, I can fucking guarantee that. Also, let's save your crew position, because you have no reason whatsoever to be there. We have to take this fight, otherwise we will run out of fuel. Why are you... The ship appears to not be powering any weapons. I don't think I've ever seen this before. I mean, I don't object, but this is very strange. I have no idea why they're not powering any weapons whatsoever. This may be a bug, but honestly, I don't- I have no idea, but I don't care. And now they've powered their weapons, so th there's obviously some rationale behind them having done that. But I have no fucking idea what that rationale was. We have to take this so that we actually have any ability to keep flying the ship. We need like a hundred scrap and we need it right now. That's not a hundred scrap. Chase them. Okay, we... Good news is that we managed to keep in touch with the ship. And get a fight. The bad news is we're in a fight against a ship with three shield bubbles. Okay. We got our weapon down. Oh god, they have 
boarding drone as well, but we very much cannot do anything to it. You get over there. Okay, good. That's down. You get over here. If we're going to lose a weapon, which I think we're about to, we might as well lose the flak. I think we need to run from this fight. The three shields is too much. We also can't do anything about that boarding drone. Yeah, we just need to get out of here. So that's another opportunity to make scrap that we've lost. That's really, really bad. Oh, there's a boarding drone in my clone bay, and I need to just get out now, or it's gonna destroy it and kill two of my crew, which would be the end of the world. We've had to jump back to a safe place. That in turn means we're running out of fuel, and we're near to the fleet. That might have been a mistake, but I honestly don't know. You know, this might be the end of the run, but if we had jumped ahead to, um, if we had jumped ahead into another beacon, and it had been a fight, well, that fight would have killed us. We re I, it's really annoying, because we do have the, um, we have, like, the foundation to build a successful run here. We have hacking, we have reasonable weapons. They're not great, but they're reasonable, like you've got a flak. It's just we cannot get upgrades. And we're at the point where normally you would have got we'd have got some power by now. And not having the power up is just absolutely brutal. As soon as our backup battery goes down, we are just completely fucked. Well, let's hope we get some free fuel here. Nope. Does that mean we are getting... Yeah, we're having to fight a dive ship. I, we're, we're dead. This is 100% this is definitely the end of the streak. This is very, very annoying. But, like, what, what are we going to do to this monster? It's disappointing not to get to 40, but, like, what can I do? And there's the, there is the streak ending at 39. Very annoying to not get to 40, but like, that run was just utterly pathetic. Obviously, I made some mistakes in Sector 1. But also, we beat 8 ships in 47 beacons. I know we did have to run away from a couple, but that is still pathetic. We just could not find any scrap. I'll, I'll have to go back and count how many ships we ran away from. It's at least three. But like, even eleven would be really, really bad. Well, Zoltan C, that's the end of, uh, end of the streak at 39. I'll probably take a couple days thinking about that, and uh, maybe start a new one in a little bit. So, I hope that you enjoyed the run. Uh, I certainly didn't, but, you know, it, it, it was an experience. And uh, I will see you again next time. Bye for now. Hello! So, I'm doing a bit of a post-mortem on, uh, on the loss, as I would usually tend to do. And uh, looking over it, I, I mean, there's a few things, obviously, that went wrong in the, in the run, and I will go over those more. But I've, I'm feeling like looking over the the run that this fight here was the big hinge point um 
this fight, I didn't realize this at the time, this text here, this is the first fight we had to run away from, it's early in Sector 3. This text here that talks about a remote settlement, that means this is a guaranteed double reward. Now in the actual fight, we had their shields all the way down with our ions and had the beam drone ready to go, and then they dodged three ions in a row. And that forced us to run away and lose a double reward. Let's find out if we fight this again how... You know, how much scrap we would have made had we been able to actually kill the ship. So, we did a weapon hack and used that time to charge up our charge ion. They've got the same dodges there that they got in the actual fight, which just makes it useful for comparison. There, they got an extra one. But yeah, you can see here, we've got them down to three hull already. Th yeah, this... You know, that sells for 32 scrap. And remember, at the next... This is the jump before we jump... Like, let's let's take this. Very next jump we would have taken. In the actual event, we went here. In the actual run, we go here. And this gives us an Ion Intruder drone. So, like, that's 64 scrap worth of stuff. It's possible that in the run that I would have decided to jump back here and go to this store, but I don't think that I'd have done that, because I know this is a civilian sector. I knew that was the first store that I saw. Like, that's 50 scrap there that we lose out on because of the triple dodges that they got in that fight. You know, we've seen there. We'll, we'll fight that a couple times just to see how, you know, reliably we can win that. I feel like it probably is going to be pretty reliable. Let's... Main menu. I mean, I've looked through and we... You know, I, all, I ran away in total from three ships in this run. So that means, like, at the end of the run we had eight ships defeated, which is pathetically low. Even if we had beaten every single ship that we ran away from. Obviously, it would make a difference because of the scrap, but even without it, we would have been at 11 out of 47 jumps, which is an awful total. You know, absolutely, you know, I usually would aim for, like, you know, one ship defeated for every two ratio if I have long-range gainers, and, you know, in the sort of, 30, you know, 33 is, like, the absolute percent. One in every three is, like, the minimum percent that I would normally expect. And this was well below that, even it was below 25%, even if we'd beaten every ship we ran away from. Let's take this fight again and see. I'm also curious as to if for some reason we had decided to reject that, that offer, which I obviously would not have done. But had we decided to do so, what sort of reward would I have gotten? We gave out up by accepting the offer, you do give up on the guaranteed double reward. Now, like, this time we actually hit. Oh, our, our beam drone did a stupid thing there because the game always gets... The save manager causes it to go weird if you jump in with a, with a drone. It will try to fire off in the wrong direction. Yeah, it's 36 scrap. I obviously would have, in all cases, taken the, um taken the fire suppression but you can see there like i just completely crushed that ship without trying at all let's do it one more time just for just for good measure Like, some of the things that I've noticed looking over the video is, like, that fight where the the drone blocked two of our shots, that was 100% my fault. I could have avoided that. I, I had actually had the game on pause for a moment, could easily and clearly could have seen, and I looked, that 
the drone, the combat drone was in front of my eye on. We had the weapon sort of set up like there. And I could easily have got her. Oh, it won't allow me to do that. My my ion charger was over here. And I could easily, in the combat drone, was sort of here. I easily could have avoided that. So that was my fault. And obviously, there was the big misplay I made in Sector 1 with the store. I could re-roll i could like redo that and see what the, see the store except the thing is ftl stores get generated at the moment you jump into them so it's not like it's not like the fights where say the rewards we get from this are set once you jump into the sector it's random and therefore i can't meaningfully say what reward i would have gotten had i um I can't meaningfully say what I would have been looking at in terms of stuff at that store had I been able to, uh, had I not miscalculated and taken extra jumps. But yeah, like the three dodges in the actual fight that we did, the three dodges they got allowed them to deionize their shields, which was huge. Then they fixed, because my, my drone had actually hit the shields in the fight, and they were able to use the time that the three dodges afforded them to fix that. Then they missiled, um, they, actually no, they didn't missile, I dodged that. That gave time for my backup battery to go down, and then they heavy lasered the, um, the drone room. So those things, but of course it was the three dodges in a row. And I mean, we had terrible dodge luck throughout this. We had that early fight where the enemy um, dodged a bunch of our... The one with the flak and the heavy laser where they dodged a bunch of our charge ion shots. And that allowed them to do us like 10 damage. So we were having quite bad dodge luck throughout this run. But, you know, the primary reason I feel like this, this run lost is the scrap famine. You know, in Sector 1, we had one real empty jump where they was just you know of nothing is ever going to be there and we had a bunch of them that were like i believe we had we had missiles for drones which is kind of vaguely useful but you know it's still just swapping one resource for another we had buy fuel we had buy repairs and we had a couple of other like functionally empty ones there was the one where they asked you to capture the ship intact but we couldn't do that and there was another one as well, I think. And we had quite a few events like that throughout the run where it was just, hey, I know we saw buy fuel multiple times, and we saw multiple different, you know, trade X for Y events, which seeing one of those once in a, in a blue moon is occasionally useful, but seeing them repeatedly when you're not finding fights, it, you know, they, they, it doesn't help you get ahead. But, um... Anyhow, that is, it is ultimately what happened in the run, and uh, maybe there's, if I go over it more carefully, maybe I'll find there were some, obviously there was the pathing error I made in Sector 1, but maybe there was some other pathing error. The pathing ended up having to be quite weird in this run anyway, because there were quite a few times that I had to like run away from fights and jump back to beacons to fix stuff, or there was a store I had to go to in Sector 2 that then necessitated me jumping back to the same beacon that I'd already been to. Quite a few things that went bad, but I would say if any one event could have turned this run around, this was it. If I win this fight, I'm in such an unbelievably better position. You know, I get my second weapon up just a little bit faster. I don't have to run away from as many fights. I mean, obviously, this was one we ran away from. That reduces that, and possibly I then don't have to run away from the other fights that were later on either. And, you know, I can maybe buy some power or get my shields up. I think probably I would have got my I would have got my shields up. Well, actually, here I would have got my, my weapons up, but I would have then worked on getting my shields up. And I think, had we not even... I don't think we had even got, if I recall correctly, level 4 shields by the time we died. No, we were still on level 3, but like this this beacon is 50 scrap. That's easily enough to do that and probably buy a power bar. We're still on a we're still in a very 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 rough situation. It's still possible that you could lose from there, but it's just incomparably better. 
But oh well. So that's um, I think that's as much of a of a post mortem as I want to go into. I'm I I struggle even though I feel like the luck on this was extremely bad. I struggle to blame this primarily on luck because I made multiple very serious misplays, and that. You know, I'm not happy with that, and that's obviously the kind of thing that you need to cut out of the game, so that, you know, you cut that sort of stuff out of your game and then you lose anyway, well then, yeah, you can you can be confident that it was entirely, it was entirely RNG. But in this one, I definitely didn't do that. I had at least two major mistakes with the store pathing and the, and the fight where the drone blocked our ion shots, and either of those not happening, maybe they could have turned our fate around, maybe they couldn't have. Actually, let's, even though this is entirely, even though this is entirely fictional, let's just reload and find out what might have been at that first store. We'll just act as if, you know, this first jump, this first attempt is what we would have rolled in the actual event. Well, no need to find the right jump. Uh, it was the one after this. This is the one where I got weapons training. I think from there I was able to see the store, but I then, you know, greeted to try to get more, more jumps, more scrap, and had it backfire very badly. Let's go to this one. Yeah, this is one of the many, hey, would you like the buy fuel events? Yeah, I mean, this isn't... We'd have got hacking a bit earlier, and then we would have gained an extra jump in the next sector. I don't know that this this particular stuff wouldn't have helped us that much. But, well, I mean, we could have seen a second store, I guess, had we pathed properly. But we didn't. And, anyhow, that's, um, that's the end of the streak. I'm sad that we couldn't get to 40. Literally, that would have been it. It would have been nice to get to that that sort of round number, but 39 is still a very, very strong streak, and I can't be can't be unhappy with that. That is, you know, by far my best streak so far. And the fact that I've hit the cycle now of my last three attempts, I've hit the cycle twice. And the one where I didn't was a loss on Stealth B, where I got completely screwed over in Sector One, and where I am extremely confident in putting that on the on the RNG. So um, I'm confident then that we'll be able to. Uh, keep going and getting more cycles. I'm not quite ready to go on to no pause yet. I want to get... I have in mind that I want to get, like, maybe a double cycle before I do that or something like that. But, uh, we'll just, uh, we'll continue going and see how we, how we, uh, how we go along with it. We can get a third cycle soon. And, uh, hopefully that'll be the case. So, I will see you next time. Actually, let's... What ship will start the next streak? Three, two, one, go. Okay, Fed B. We just had a good run with that. I'm not going to do that now, though. It's going to be a few days before I play FTL again. So I will see you again when we restart the streak, and bye for now.